Have you ever pondered what separates those who survive from those who don't? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? And the answer might surprise you. It's not just about physical strength, nor is it about having the most supplies. What truly matters is the art of adaptation. Adaptation is the heart and soul of survival. It's the ability to quickly adjust to new, often challenging circumstances. When faced with the unexpected, those who can adapt and overcome are the ones who ultimately thrive. Think about it, you're in the wilderness, and a sudden storm rolls in. Do you panic, or do you adapt? The rain might drench your firewood and soak your clothes, but if you can think quickly, you can find shelter and make a new plan. This is the essence of adaptation. But let's clear up a common misconception here. Survival is not solely about physical strength. Yes, being physically fit can be a tremendous advantage. But more than that, survival is about mental agility. It's about the ability to think on your feet, to make informed decisions under pressure, and to keep a cool head when all around you is chaos. Imagine if you're lost in an unfamiliar city without your phone or wallet. Would your first instinct be to panic? Or would you adapt, relying on your mental agility to figure out the best course of action? Would you ask for directions, find a public phone, or perhaps even barter for a ride home? That's right, the art of adaptation is not limited to extreme survival scenarios. It's a skill that can serve us well in our everyday lives, helping us navigate the unpredictable twists and turns that life often throws our way. So let's not underestimate the power of adaptation. It's not just about surviving in the wilderness or enduring a natural disaster. It's about thriving in any situation that life throws at us. Remember, survival is not about the fittest, but the most adaptable. Adaptation isn't only for extreme survival scenarios. It's a skill that is woven into the fabric of our everyday lives. Look around you, and you'll see adaptation in action constantly. It's in the way you navigate your morning commute, adjusting your route on the fly when an unexpected road closure pops up. It's in the way you respond to a sudden change in weather, grabbing an umbrella on a sunny day when you notice those ominous dark clouds gathering in the distance. Think about the last time you had to learn a new piece of technology. Maybe it was a new app on your phone, or perhaps a new software at work. It was unfamiliar, maybe a bit intimidating, but you adapted. You learned, you experimented, and you mastered it. That's adaptation in action. Or consider how you respond to a sudden change in your plans. You've planned a day at the beach, but wake up to find it's pouring rain. Do you let it ruin your day? Of course not. You adapt. You find an indoor activity, maybe visit a museum or catch a movie. You adjust your expectations and make the most out of the situation. Adaptation is about constant learning and flexibility. It's about staying open to new experiences and being willing to step out of your comfort zone. It's about not just accepting change, but embracing it. It's about understanding that the only constant in life is change, and the better we become at dealing with change, the better we'll become at navigating life. Adaptation is about resilience, about bouncing back from setbacks, and about finding solutions to problems. It's about being proactive rather than reactive. It's about looking for opportunities in every situation, no matter how challenging it might seem. So, you see, adaptation is not just a survival skill. It's a life skill. It's a tool that can help you thrive in a world that's always changing, always evolving. It's a skill that can help you turn challenges into opportunities and uncertainty into understanding. Adaptation, then, is not just a survival skill, but a life skill. So, how can one master this essential survival skill? Well, it all starts with understanding that adaptation isn't a singular skill, but rather a complex tapestry woven from various abilities and competencies. The process of adaptation is like a jigsaw puzzle with each skill representing a different piece. When these pieces come together, they create the complete picture of a master adapter. First up, quick decision-making. In unpredictable situations, time is often of the essence. The ability to quickly analyze a scenario and make an informed decision can be the difference between success and failure. This skill, however, doesn't come naturally to all. It requires practice, honing your instincts, and learning to trust yourself. Next, we have analytical thinking. This is the ability to break down complex problems into manageable parts. It's seeing the forest for the trees, understanding the bigger picture, and planning accordingly. This skill is crucial in helping you navigate unfamiliar situations, enabling you to devise effective strategies and solutions. Then, there's creative problem solving. Sometimes, conventional methods may not work, and thinking outside the box becomes necessary. This is where creativity comes into play. It's about using your imagination to find unconventional yet effective solutions. But don't forget, 
Adaptation isn't just about the mind, it's equally about the body. Physical resilience plays a significant role in survival situations. This could mean enduring harsh environments, pushing past physical limits or recovering quickly from injuries. And lastly, but certainly not least, emotional control. High-stress situations can stir up a whirlwind of emotions. Fear, panic, frustration. These can cloud judgment and hinder decision-making. Learning to manage these emotions to stay calm under pressure is an invaluable part of the adaptation process. As you can see, adaptation is a multifaceted skill rooted in both mental and physical capabilities. It's about weaving these skills together, creating a safety net of resilience that can catch you when life throws you off balance. It's the ultimate survival skill, one that can help you thrive in the face of adversity. Now that we understand the components of adaptation, how can we cultivate it? Cultivating adaptability is all about challenging yourself both mentally and physically. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing change. So how can you do this in practical terms? Let's start with the mind. Mental agility is a huge part of adaptability. Stimulate your mind with puzzles, brain teasers, and strategy games. These activities challenge your problem-solving skills and keep your mind sharp. Reading books on a wide range of topics can also broaden your perspective and enhance your adaptability. Next, let's talk about physical adaptability. Engaging in sports or physical activities can help you develop this. Whether it's rock climbing, swimming, or learning a new dance routine, these activities push your physical limits and force you to adapt. Outdoor adventures are another excellent way to cultivate adaptability. Whether it's hiking, camping, or simply exploring a new environment, these experiences expose you to unpredictable situations that require quick thinking and decision-making. But cultivating adaptability isn't just about challenging yourself, it's also about embracing change. Change can be uncomfortable, but it's a necessary part of growth, so don't shy away from it. Instead, welcome it with open arms. Try new things, take on new roles, learn new skills, push your boundaries. The more you expose yourself to different situations, the more adaptable you become. And finally, remember to be patient with yourself. Cultivating adaptability doesn't happen overnight. It's a continuous journey filled with constant learning and growth, so don't rush the process. Remember, the journey to becoming adaptable is a continuous one, filled with constant learning and growth. So, let's embrace this journey together and become the ultimate survivalists. In the next scene, we'll explore the power of adaptation and why it's the ultimate survival skill. But for now, let's focus on cultivating our adaptability one step at a time. So, are you ready to challenge yourself and embrace change? Are you ready to cultivate your adaptability? Let's do this. Remember, the journey to becoming adaptable is a continuous one, filled with constant learning and growth. With adaptation in our toolkit, we are prepared for whatever life throws our way. Life is a series of unexpected events, and it's our ability to adapt that can be the difference between succumbing to these challenges or rising above them. Whether it's a sudden power outage, being stranded in unfamiliar territory, or encountering a potential threat, the power of adaptation can be our saving grace. Adaptation is more than just a survival skill. It's a life skill that helps us navigate the unpredictable waves of life. It's about being flexible and resilient, about thinking on our feet and making quick, informed decisions. It's about embracing change and turning it into an opportunity for growth. The importance of adaptation in our lives cannot be overstated. It's not just for the survivalists among us, but for anyone who wants to thrive in a world that is constantly changing. It's for those who want to be prepared for whatever comes their way, who want to face challenges head-on and come out stronger on the other side. The journey to mastering adaptation starts with a single step. It starts with the willingness to push our boundaries, to step out of our comfort zones and to embrace new challenges. It's about cultivating a mindset of adaptability, about developing essential survival skills, and about becoming mentally and physically resilient. And as we embark on this journey, we invite you to share your thoughts and experiences on adaptation. We want to hear your stories, your challenges, and your victories. We want to learn from each other and grow together, so let's start a conversation. Let's engage, share, and learn. As we navigate the unpredictable waves of life, remember, adaptation is your superpower. It's what allows us to face challenges head-on, to make quick, informed decisions, and to turn adversity into opportunity. So, stay vigilant, stay adaptable, and remember, the power of adaptation is in your hands. I'll catch you on the next one.